So welcome to the Miracles and Science Center for Continuous Personal and Professional Development. Today, the 13th of July, we come again with another daily life lesson for today. So this daily life lesson tells us about uh, the ever-changing nature of life. It says that uh, no man can ever step in the river twice, as he doesn't remain the same man, and it is not the same river. So what it tells us is that uh, we live in the world that is changing. Never say never, because you never know where the change will be able to lead you to. This can be in our lives. We know that we are strong at one point, we are weak at another point. We are healthy in one situation, we are sick in another situation. It comes to our relationships. Relationships are formed, they fall apart, create others. So there is always change. We get money, we lose money, we get more money, we get less. So there is always change, and change is a fact of life. So this day life lesson tells us that we need to recognize this fact of change in life. For us to be able to prepare for life, to be able to prepare for change in life, there are four things that will be able to bring to your attention so that you can be able to live in this changing world. The first is for you to constantly prepare for change. You should be able to know that change will definitely happen whether you like it or not. Sometimes people marry, think that this person will not change. That is a fallacy. You should expect the person to change. Sometimes people have children. They bring them up as children. Even when they have grown, they want to treat them as children. Never. They have changed. So we should know that we should prepare constantly for change. Number two, it is important to constantly evaluate our goals. Because change happens. What your goal was 10 years ago should not be the same. Things change. Evaluate it. Keep on evaluating what you have achieved and what you have not yet achieved. And then set new goals. So evaluating constantly your goals will help you to live in this changing world. Number three, renew yourself. But renewing yourself means shading off certain bad characters, certain bad trends, certain bad behaviors, and developing new ones. But renewing yourself, we are told in Corinthians 5.17, that the old has gone and the new has come. So it is important to adopt that, so that you know that constantly the old will go and the new has come. We are told about the new heaven and the new earth in Isaiah 65 and Revelation 21. We are told that even this world, there will be a new earth and a new heaven. So, Things change. Actually, we are told, interestingly, that even at some point in time, Satan himself will actually repent, will, will be a new creature. So, it means that actually there is always change to the extent that even Satan can be able to repent and change. So, renewing yourself, it means that you will be able to adopt and to live very well in this changing world. And then lastly, reinvent yourself. The fourth component on how you can be able to live in this changing world is to reinvent yourself. Don't be stuck to the old. I have seen sometimes people have acquired knowledge and skills and have been working for the last 20 years. They are stuck with the knowledge and skills they acquired 20 years ago and they have been using. So reinventing yourself means getting a new skill, getting new knowledge, changing, for example, a career, changing a business. You can change friends. You can be able to change locations as part of reinventing yourself as long as it is for the positive. So for these four reasons that I have outlined above, and the four ways they have already indicated, you'll be able to live very well in a changing world if you adopt them. This has been our lesson for today.